I have noticed that there has been some talk here in the First Amendment community about auditors, such as myself and others, shifting from the more traditional audits of government agencies and into the private sector. Furthermore, myself and other auditors have been accused of harassing private citizens trying to do their job. I cannot speak for any other auditor, but I can speak for myself. I am not here to harass anyone. I cannot control how the people who appear in my videos react to what I am doing, which is exercising my right to film and gather content in public. That is a right that is protected by the First Amendment of the United States Constitution. With that being said, I hope you all enjoy this audit. Thank you for watching. Nathaniel out here in the city of Pasadena and joining me is Pugface Media and together we're going to be doing a First Amendment audit of Tiffany and Company. Yeah, a jewelry store. Bet you've never seen an audit of a jewelry store before. Or I don't know, maybe you have. Either way, we're going to make sure that our friends at Tiffany and Company respect and honor our constitutional right to film in public. So let's go over there and try on some jewelry. <laughs> so yeah, folks, this is it. This is Tiffany and Company. Uh, it's a high-end jewelry store, and uh, sign right there it lets us know exactly where you are in case you think I'm lying, and we got some uh, Tiffany employees right there. She's trying to hide from the camera or whatnot, and then and we, got, we got another one over here. She was, she was giving me some funny looks. Uh-oh. Well, look, I can already tell they're camera friendly. But yeah, they got some exotic jewelry here. Uh, we're in downtown Pasadena, and just walking around, you can tell there's a lot of money in this city. This is also a big uh, Psy hotbed, for those of you who are up on uh, all things Scientology. Yeah, we got a security guard there, he's uh, checking us out. And he's, uh, he's not saying anything, but he's a big boy. I wonder if he played football in high school. He's but everybody, uh, everybody doesn't want to be in my shot. What's, why are they so, uh, why are they so camera shy? Here we got some jewelry on display. Oh wow, look at that! Looks like an iceberg. And we got some, uh, oh, uh, some cleaning solution there. Real exciting. And then we've got a biling right there. Or no, that's not filing. So yeah, this is it, folks. This is oh, ooh, who's that? Ooh, handsome alert. We got some high-end jewelry right here. That we're gonna check out all the jewelry. Hi, how's it going? I can't hear you through the glass, but anyways, back to the jewelry. I wonder how much some of that stuff costs. Kind of makes me think of the movie Straight Time with Dustin Hoffman. We're here, uh, we're him and Harry Dean Stanton, who's one of my favorite actors, where they go and they rob that jewelry store in Beverly Hills. We're obviously not in Beverly Hills, we're in the city of Pasadena, but uh, pretty, pretty darn close, if I must say. Hi! I like Tiffany. You like Tiffany? Yeah. It's a famous jewelry store. Yes, it is. How you doing? I'm all right. I'm just curious what you're filming. You're just making some of my employees uncomfortable. Oh, well, it's just a camera. It's not going to hurt anybody. We have cameras yeah, we're just. There. That's all. I mean, can I just ask what it's for? Well, we're just interested in Tiffany. Yeah, that's all. It's, you guys got some beautiful, it's a beautiful location. You know, it's downtown Pasadena, it's, you know. Are those wine glasses for sale in there too? I know there's wine glasses. Everything is for sale. In there. Oh, okay. Do you guys sell Movado watches? No. No? Oh, okay. Yeah, I used to have a Movado. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, I, I didn't, I, I don't know anything about that. I just, 
Not a but you're filming us and you say you know a lot about us, but you don't no, know. No, 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 I'm inter we're interested. Okay. Yeah, that's all. Oh, you have? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's it. A little charm. Nothing, yeah. nothing spectacular. Yeah. We have something for everybody. Oh, awesome. Cool. Thanks for being nice about it. Yeah, we appreciate it. Yeah. To harm anybody. We're just, we're just interested. Yeah. yeah. I would just say, you know, if you see people, like any of my employees there, just to not film them because they they don't feel comfortable being filmed. And you can't film them when you're in the store, so. Oh, yeah, yeah. We understand when you're inside, you know. Yeah. yeah. But when you're filming through our glass at an employee, they don't like it. So I'm just asking you out of respect to not do that. Okay. Thanks for asking. Thanks okay. for being respectful. Appreciate it. Right. Have a good night. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Filming through the glass. How can you film through the glass? Like, how can you physically stick your camera through the glass and and film? I mean, I, I don't understand that. I wanted to ask her about that, but she, I don't know. She was she wasn't she didn't push it too far. So we're walking around the other side of Tiffany, and uh, we got some some people that look like they obviously have a lot of money. Getting ready to buy some jewelry and. And we got the we got Miss Tiffany over there. She's uh, talking with the uh, oh, she's coming out again. Seriously, why are you filming through the glass at my? Well, you you can't actually stick your camera through the glass. I mean, that's impossible. But I'm not right? suggesting it's impossible, but I'm asking you not to film my employees through huh? the glass. Well, we're just we're just filming whatever we can see from a public vantage point. It, it's, it's a camera. It's not going to hurt anybody. It's Just, offensive to my employees, and I'm asking you to please not do it. Well, they don't like it. Well, I'm, I'm sorry. There's no uh, there's no reasonable expectation right, of privacy just, in public. I'll just make a report then. Okay, great. Have fun. Hmm, I wonder what that means. I wonder what she's going to report on. Yeah, he's definitely on the phone. Maybe he's calling uh, Pasadena PD or... Maybe he's calling Tiffany Busters. Oh, yeah, sure. I wonder why they don't send him him out. He's obviously the bouncer. Instead, they send the woman out. Oh, we got a cam back. How you doing? I'm just reporting this because I just reported you. Okay, great, awesome. Well, it's not harassment, but. Well, sorry you feel that way. Alrighty, it looks like we got the uh, ambassador security patrol on the scene. He's I wonder if he's here because he got a call or if he's here for that because that lady called. I, I, there we go. Oh yeah, I guess that one right. Let's see what she's going to tell him. Is she going to lie and say that we went on their property or sticking our cameras through the glass? Like, how can you do that? Like, physically impossible. <laughs> How's it going? Good, you? I'm doing fine. What, Thank did, uh, what did she tell you? Did she just, like, ask you to not film here? She's telling us that we're sticking the camera through the glass, which is actually, which is physically impossible, but... Well, I talked to her, I mean, because, like, I mean, obviously you guys have the right to, like, film whatever you do awesome. in public, like, public space and everything. Um, I mean, I guess it was just a courtesy thing for her, but, um... We weren't even interested in her. I mean, she yeah. just kept coming out and, and being, getting you know right up in our face and being kind of confrontational about it yeah. and our focus wasn't even on her but like when somebody approaches me like that i'm gonna record and yeah yeah i mean my interest isn't even on her you know now i get you like i mean especially if she came at you like in a rude way then yeah she wasn't very friendly i mean yeah i mean look we are in public we're not following yeah, of course. anyone he knows around. we're yeah. not following them to their cars um, i've never been to downtown Pasadena. yeah so you're just trying to like i record film. yeah pretty much everything like walking to the river right now uh-huh and we we just saw this, and then she she you know we were filming like you know just the the jewelry displays yeah. the ones that were in the window that yeah, yeah if we were inside uh, the store recording uh, they you know they obviously call yeah that but I mean I told her like for this like I mean there's nothing I can do about it like I mean that for her that's just like something that I guess she has an issue with personally but I mean 
based on the law, there's nothing to do about that. I mean, yeah. you guys are completely in your rights and everything. So, awesome. I was just going to tell her, like, I'll just come talk to you guys and just, like, I mean, if everything's cool, then I'll probably just probably just head out because there's nothing I can do. Yeah, we're, we're not here to bother anybody. I mean, like I said, yeah. you know, I'm... Our focus wasn't even on her, but she's making it. She's making it look like we're peeping toms or something. I'm sorry, she's not yeah. Bo Derek, you uh -huh. know. So it's. Yeah. I mean, but. Uh, and we're not going to be here all night. We're no, actually, we're not. We're about to okay. leave. All and right. She said, "I'm going to make your report." That's why we stuck around. We don't want to. Yeah. Think we were running from anything. And then she came out and like stuck her cell phone in my. Well, not in my face, but she started like cam backing me, and I yeah. was like, "Okay, so it's okay for you to do it, but we can't, you know." <laughs> yeah. I mean. Now I get you. No, you've been very professional. We appreciate it. Uh -huh. I've actually I've been had some interactions with some of your guys. Are you guys the ambassadors? Yeah, or, the, like, well, Pasadena guys. We pretty much just do security around the block. Oh, okay. Yeah. So like, yeah. If the store has an issue, they call you. And yeah, they, they call and, us. And like, you decide if the cops are calling or something. Yeah, or if someone needs to be like relocated from the business or something like that. Like, like minor disturbances. Yeah, minor things. disturbances. I like that name, relocated. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, we won't keep you anymore. I okay. mean, thank you for being professional. We really yeah. appreciate it. And one final thing, you're very handsome. Oh, thanks, man. Uh, thanks. Thank you. All right, yeah, well, we're going to, I mean, we're going to okay. do our thing. Yeah, we're not sticking around. I mean, yeah. I, I'd say it's best just to avoid, like, you know, you know, it's just best to avoid it. Well, can you, but, can I you mean, please at least, at least tell her that we have the right to report in public? Yeah, yeah, I told her that. I already told her. Okay, that. so That's it looks like. That's the first thing I said. So. Awesome. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, there's nothing really that can, she can do at this point. So, if you want to film, you can film. But I would just say, like, keep it peaceful. Just avoid, yeah, yeah. Just avoid some more, like, more problems. She's her, like, because obviously she's in the wrong. So. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. All right. All right. Yeah, we're gonna continue our walk. And, uh, do you know any good uh, like bars around downtown Pasadena? Yeah. Because <laughs> we're actually thinking about having bar, a drink. The best bar is the 35er. The 35er. The 35er. It's right on the corner of uh, Fair Oaks in Colorado. Okay. Cool. So it's like, it's the next block down, actually. Just awesome. Block, yeah. All right, well, I think we're going to head that way. <laughs> All right, have a good night. All right, for sure. Thank you. Guys. Take care. Yeah. Thanks for being professional. Yeah. All right, folks, what do you think? All right, well, uh, Pugface Media and I are going to wrap this audit up. Uh, I think uh, it's probably safe to say you all know what the verdict is on this one. I'm going to give Tiffany and company a fail. I mean, obviously, uh, she made it a point to come out three different times and uh, get in our face. Well, not like, you know, get right in our face, but I mean, she definitely wasn't digging it too much. I wish that bus would get out of the way. Anyways, that's Nathaniel Pugface Media saying happy trails, like, subscribe, comment, all that groovy stuff. And we'll see you on the next audit after I get about five margaritas in me. <laughs>